Hi, I'm Bob Harris for Concrete Network. You may want to consider the use of a polished cement-based overlay for your project. One of the fastest growing and most popular applications is polished self-leveling cement-based overlays. The success of any cement-based topping starts with proper surface preparation. The International Concrete Repair Institute, ICRI, has concrete surface profile charts to help the applicator choose the best concrete surface profile, CSP, for the application of self-leveling overlays. Certainly, it is best to check with the manufacturer on what their requirements are. Also, all cracks should be filled per the manufacturer's recommendations to prevent telegraphing through into the new topping. Once the proper concrete surface profile has been achieved and all patching of cracks and chips are complete, the next step is to prime the surface. Priming serves multiple functions including sealing of the concrete pores to prevent outgassing in the topping and also for adhesion of the new overlay. Many manufacturers are applying 100% solids epoxy as a prime coat followed by broadcasting a dry 20-30 mesh sand into the fresh epoxy to where the surface will not accept any more sand which is referred to as applying to refusal. If you see shiny spots where the epoxy has bled through, it is important to apply more sand to these areas. The following day, the residual sand is scraped and vacuumed from the surface and then the applicator is ready to apply their material. The proper elevation is important during application. In many instances, a minimum of 3 8 of an inch thickness is used for polishing and in some cases, depending on the substrate, requires thicker applications. You can use prefabricated divider strips for decorative purpose, but also to set height requirements. It is crucial when applying these types of materials that there is no pause or delay in the application, which would create a visible cold joint, especially noticeable after polishing. Common tools include what is referred to as a gauge rake and smoothing paddle to help level and smooth the surface. Some contractors who feel they are not proficient in using a smoothing paddle use a special spike roller instead, which works well. The roller will generally create a slight orange peel texture, which is usually removed during the grinding and honing stages. Sometimes decorative embedments can be used, such as decorative aggregate and a broad range of colors of crushed glass. Generally, when grinding self-leveling overlays, the first two grit sequence that are used on traditional concrete are also used on these materials, including 80 grit and 150 grit metal bond diamonds. For further refinement of the floor on the honing and polishing stages, special pads are used which were specifically designed for these types of materials and work great. When executed properly, polished self-leveling overlays can produce a durable, aesthetically pleasing surface. This application can be used in many settings including residential, light commercial, and commercial applications. The use of two colors, which of course would be two separate pores, can produce a stunning classical look in the front entrance of any office complex. With the proper installation and polishing techniques, these floors can produce high light reflectivity and amazing distinctness of image as seen with the reflections in these floors.